So hello friends, today we're going to repair this lens. It is a Coboron uh, 28 millimeters to 200. I think, uh, well, it's written somewhere. I think it's just in the front here. Okay, yeah, it's written here in the front. 28 to 200 millimeters, uh, 3.5 to 5.3. Um, okay, so I found this lens on a flea market. Uh, I was immediately attracted to it because it is a brand I have never had heard about before uh, and then i was just checking uh, on the internet and then these coboron guys and um, they are actually a third party manufacturer of lenses so they make lenses for sony minolta konica i think too and uh, you can check that on the internet anyway um, and then uh, they decide to make uh, lenses on their own and then yeah this is the kind of stuff you find well they're a bit rare uh, it's the first time i have ever seen and then i've been checking lenses like for five years now and then uh, yeah it's the first time i found this okay so i got this lens cheap because uh there was there's a problem here and then uh, as you can see there uh, the lens is full of haze so it is rather opaque um, and then I can show you some footage of how it looks when filming with this lens and then uh, you will see it is really annoying Okay, so you check it, the footage, um, yeah, it doesn't look nice, at least I don't like it. And then, uh, okay, I've been, uh, I tried to fiddle a little bit with this lens, and then, uh, honestly, uh, it's the most complicated lens I have ever seen. Um, because I wasn't able to remove the bayonet, well, sort of, but um, not really, because, just let me show you. So remove these four screws for the bayonet. And then okay, just saw it rotating, and then if I remove this, so I reach. This element, the construction is extremely good. Huh? Uh, everything is smooth, everything is metal. Uh, so the, the, these guys uh, know how to do good quality. <coughs> At least in the mechanics. Uh, the ergonomy of the design is not fantastic because I actually reach this point here and then there's this aluminum part and then um, the aperture ring. Uh, but then, uh, honestly, I don't know how to proceed to remove the rest. Uh, there is some uh, screw holes here, um, and then some more in here. So this, I tried. They remove this uh, jacket uh, of the lens. These ones I remove it, and then uh, you're able to rotate this part. I don't know if you're able to disassemble the rest. Okay, but anyway, uh, what we need to do, we don't know, we don't need to take care of any of that because we want to remove this element, which is the one which has haze. So and then uh, what I did what I was able to do, just uh, using my rubber cone, was to remove this ring here. Well, now I cannot remove it because okay so i'm able to remove this ring here come on okay anyway there's one ring here and then uh, the whole assembly so just let me remove it here and then we can take a closer look so there is one small here ring here that now it holds okay before it came it was rather easy. Okay. 
Yeah, go ahead. Make me make me look stupid, huh? Okay. So I got this ring here and then uh, just by removing this lens here I'm able to take the spanner and rotate this element to remove it so and then uh, with that out so just let me put this in uh, right position So I'm able to reach this element here, which is the uh, one uh, that has uh, all the haze. Uh, so uh, what I can do already is just check if it is outside. So there is a few here and then uh, a bit more behind. So I uh, obviously disassembled this before. Here there is some glue that I dissolved using the traditional method. It's adding some isopropyl alcohol here and then it will work for a few minutes and then it came out uh, on the first shot then by using the rubber cone here so here I can pick this lens here which is uh, the one which has the most haze and then there's some haze in this lens here but as you can see it is less important as you can see through the lens and then with this one it becomes uh, rather opaque okay so uh, we disassemble what we wanted to disassemble then uh, what I'm going to do now is to go and get my cleaning stuff and then uh, we meet in three seconds so, see you. Okay, so here I am. I am ready uh, to do the clean. I decided to try something. Uh, I found this, um, yeah, this glass cleaning uh, wipes. And then I said to myself, let's try this. And then uh, I already started. And then uh, it seems to work. Well, the haze uh, seems to be gone, eh? so this is a very good thing. And then this is clean quite well. Uh, I don't have many. Hope I have, because uh, they seem to work like a charm. Okay, so here you are. First lens super clean I like that and it was very quick okay so let's remove uh, the second hazy element here and then when, when I'm trying to be very careful here is not to flip the lenses because I will be in trouble otherwise okay so I have this element here which uh, looks clean but yeah, looks clean anyway uh, but then uh, let me tell you it has some haze so just let me take this wipe This is gone here too, so I think this is going to be a super quick repair. Because just let me finish wiping this. Then I can 
install it. I'm not going to blow this because it's from fiber. But then, okay, so you see, looks nice. Just a try. Just to make sure we remove the haze. Okay, this is it. You see, it is perfect. I just need to wipe this thing. Okay, because there's a lot of fibers. But otherwise, uh, yeah, the clean is quite a success. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the dust and then uh, finish the clean, uh, the clean properly. Um, but uh, you saw the haze uh, went away quite easily. So I'm going to finish this and then we meet again for the reassembly of the lens. So. I got the block ready and then as you can see now it is really clear so we can proceed to uh, reassemble the lens this is going to be extremely easy extremely quick so since we didn't did much disassemble in the beginning so we just oh but focus sorry for that okay so that's it so let me just put this a bit further and then as you can see now the haze is gone so i'm going to finish the reassembly of the lens this is going to be very easy you have this red dot here and then uh, there is one red dot somewhere in here so here so now what i do is just to get here there's some resistance due to a spring so let's just put one screw remove the gloves so i can finish the assembly and then as you saw the disassembly was this assembly reassembly repair was really really quick so and then we have all the haze which is gone and now we can test there's still some light so i'm going to do some footage of the window as before show it to you and then that's it um. okay so we can see that the lens is doing very well now so uh, i'm going to play a bit with it thanks a lot for watching and see you next time eh?